gets on the end of it, spills it. Still good enough to get a short pass. And this is unravelling quickly for the Saints. This is an amazing coaching performance by Simon Goodwin. Petraka's going to go back and have a shot. Third season now for Petraka. A little bit of a push and shove off the ball. Saints fans try to stop him. How's the confidence level of that? Slung, just got it away in time. He's in real trouble, Nick yeah, Rillard. Yeah, looks like a yeah. right knee, boys. This is yeah, a disaster right. for St Kilda mm. right here. Viney, yeah, Hannon. It's a big story. Petraka. Petraka. Six and a half minutes left. Sneaks it in. The drought might be broken. Murphy. Ducks and weaves and shimmies. Just gets it away. Neil Bourne is closing. Coming back. Tyson. Just too hot for Brayshaw. Chance for Petrarca. Oh, Fires a goal. Advantage call. Demons back in front. Almost an open goal. Now Petrarca. They need a classy goal. And that's exactly what he delivers. Yeah, and that's what makes... Melbourne so dangerous. Johnny, you want to go to the Telestrator or not? Yeah, we've got per Petrarca who's sitting right there. So he's he's sitting right in yep. the uh, in the stoppage there. So which is uh, which is good. And just watch the uh, the wrap around here on uh, on Stewart and and his movement to get that space required to then uh, execute a great snap over his left shoulder. Yeah, it's good. Actually, Zach Smith looked like he was hitting it to the same spot Max Gorn. I think Smith actually might have got his hand to it. But Gorn looked like Pato was hitting it to the same spot anyway. So that's probably a set play from Melbourne. It was certainly helped by Smith, the fact that he hit it, uh, hit it to Petraka. Bernie Vince is another quiet player, Jerry. We'll talk about him in a minute. Yeah, no, Ruckman really got a meaningful hand to it. Melbourne close fight amongst themselves. But Petraka breaks the deadlock, solves the argument, kicks the L. Just see him here up against Gary Gibbertson. Gibbertson allows him just to get a metre. Has the ball an opportunity to win the ball himself? Just didn't go hard enough. Oh, Wiedemann needs to fly, and he does. Made a good contest of it, but Fremantle defenders were well placed. Enter Christian Petrarca, the young man, the young star on the rise on the stage at the MCG. But Christian kicks the goal, and he's stuck. Well, it's a great goal, and it just once again indicates that uh, Melbourne looked to be running a bit more freshly than the Fremantle Dockers. They've just had three or four players drop off. They're not getting that 100% manic uh, effort all the time. Look at the numbers around the ball. Melbourne have got plenty. No defence at all for the Dockers, and Petraka does it beautifully. Caddy, Watts, he's lifting, he knows he's got a challenge, pushed forward by Melcham, then squeezed out quickly. That was really clever. Another little test for this knee. Seventh disposal of the ninth for Petrarca. And he puts the Demons back in front. Patterson deep with Conor McKenna, his yep. opponent. You'd like them to go to a one-on-one -on -one in that scenario. Instead, it was short to Petrarca. One goal last week, Christian Petrarca. 7-2 for the year in his five games to date. And that is clapped from the moment it left his boot. All smiles. Vince, Petrarca stays down. And interesting, Oliver Ford. And pops it over to Petrarca. That is beautifully worked. So Christian Petrarca. Oh, back a long way. Already with one goal to his name. Now he's kicked his second. And Brown doesn't finish it. And almost paid full price. Still might. No, that's a great tackle, Heppel. And Melbourne are going to kick a goal through Petrarca. And the Bombers fans are livid. The strength of Petrarca. He's a brute, isn't he? Oh, that was huge. No, that's just in the tackle. He was attempting to kick the ball. And that's just strength from Petrarca. Jeez, isn't it? He just forces his way into the contest. He's getting there, Petrarca. Yes, takes the mark. He's played a good forwards game. He's been involved 
in a lot of the scores, has put defensive pressure on and been very strong at the contest. Possession number 11 coming up. So, can he hit it sweet? He can. Highly skilled young man, big smiles for Demon fans. Four goals. And Melbourne's lead extended to 38 points. We know what he's capable of, Jono, but he's played a very efficient forwards game, hasn't he, Christian? Yeah, he has, because look, at times uh, Michael Hurley's been able to take some uh, intercept marks on him, but look, he's tried to position himself as best as he possibly can to restrict the influence of Hurley at times and then obviously get on the scoreboard himself. So 11, he, 11 he's possessions well. and four goals. It's a good game. Viney hassling Douglas. Hampton flicked out the handball, but only as far as Oliver. Quickly onto the oh. point of the mark is claimed by Petrarca. Playing in front. How did he hang on to that? Well, he's just telling us. Yeah. And has been a goal kicker this season as well. 11 goals, two coming into tonight. He makes no mistake there. Petrarca adds another one, and the Demons are all smiles. They get it forward. Bit of a rush kick. Christian Petrak is playing in front, takes a lovely contested mark on a pretty good defender in Kyle Hardigan. He's a big man. He's had a great night. And he's got the football. And he can swing it in board and Petrarca. Now, this is the type of kick. At the other end, he'd be kicking this three-quarter post height. Free kick off the ball to Tom ah. McDonald in the goal square. People near to the game, it either becomes 50 or the, if the infringement was beyond 50 where the ball was, that's where the free kick was. After the penalty, Petrarca is able to put the ball through from point blank range and Melbourne have their first goal. High up and under, Pedersen front spot, crisp out the back, got a couple of hands, misses, and now Petrarca runs to 50, Garlic got the last, Petrarca. He gets the next back-to-back -back for the Demons and back to just 16 points. Just look at this again, Petrarca. He's a star in the making. If you're not already a star, that's a great finish. Goal umpire did not even move. It's around for Law. Works it to half forward. Big moment for Petrarca coming up. Oh, no. Mark, 50. Three goals to one in this term. 23 points down at half time. Margin now 10 points. There's a couple of players, Tim, that you look to in times of need, and he's only young Petrarca. He's only in his 28th game, but he's become one of those guys for Melbourne. No, he's a superstar talent. There's no question about that. When he gets better endurance, we may even see him play as a midfielder, although he provides so much for them in the front half. It may be that that's where he plays the rest of his football. In and under. No win here. We'll have another ball up. Oh, He's got it. Free kick will go the Demons' way. Made no attempt. attempt. Set up by Jacob Mollison. The ball inside 50. Petrarca's got it. Petrarca has got it. He'll line up for his third goal. And to give Melbourne a 10 point lead with six and a half remaining. Christian Petrarca with a big time shot at goal. It's no gimme. Bucks not happy. 30 metres, 45 degree angle. There's the bullseye. Can he hit it? Petrarca needs it to bend and he does. MCG alight. Petrarca has put the Demons up by 10 and lifted the Natives out of the seats here at the MCG. Wasn't the best drop and that's why it came off the instep and that's why it bent left to right. That was his fifth mark inside 50. He's becoming a match winner for Melbourne now. Christian Petrarca has three goals. He's looked dangerous all afternoon. Had a hand in another couple. Well, Neil Bullen was the loose, and he should have marked it in the end. He got to the right spot. Hunter, they've been pushed back here vigorously. Oh, Petrarca picked the pocket and kicked the goal. He's a burst of energy. He's 
must get it. Melksham, McKenzie, no mark. Here's a chance. Petrarca got the ball from stretch. They get the next goal. Back to eight points. Demons right in it. He misses. Petrarca out the back door. Acceleration. Looking for the skitter. Oh. Leads a straight one and got it. Petrarca just nailed the kick. And the Melbourne fans out of their seat. And that big smile of Petrarca. Well, this so-called brilliant Sydney midfield is getting opened up at stoppages in the last 10 minutes. Look at that setup. Jordan Lewis there. Beautiful tap from Max Gorn. And Christian Petrarca, just a powerful machine duck. That's superb to be able to win the stoppage first of all, break away and then finish like that. That's what's going to see him being a star of this comp for a long time. Yeah, that's a great... Wide there to Melksham. Had to go and get it. Pedersen had a bit of a look. Time to spot up Oliver. Oliver to Hibbard. Hibbard to the run of Melksham. Petrarca was good. The advantage paid here. Petrarca within 55. Really classy finish from Christian Petrarca. His second. Just needed those half a dozen disposals earlier, didn't we? Because... Yeah. He, he makes a difference. His two goals tonight yeah. have been brilliant. Yeah. They've been powerful. They've been running explosive, bursting away from the contest and then hitting a goal from a long way out. And you think, Wayne, he missed his first season of footy, didn't he, with a yep. knee? And then yep. he, he, I think he hurt his toe early in the second season. He's, he's going to be something exceptional, isn't he? Building nicely. Yeah. Now, now Petrarca, Richo. Oh, got one on ones in 50 if they go quick. And then it's Petrarca all on his own. He can score from here, Petrarca. He's a class act. Leans back. He loves the moment. Two in a row to Melbourne. Here's to tighten up a fraction. High ball, McDonald and Hogan both lead. Here's Neil Bullen from the pocket. Time to really size it oh, up right. and decides that Petrarca is the best way home. I'm enjoying uh, the improvement of Alex oh, Neil Bullen. Man. His last few games, he has gone up a notch. And that is just brilliant play. It was calm under pressure. It was unselfish, and he set his side up for another goal. 21 goals, five this year. He's deadly, Christian Petrarca. The three on went the nine on. Oh, Petrarca. Oh, this is when it really is breaking down when you try and hit up a bullet from outside, from inside the uh, goal square, and you get intercepted. He's a hell of a kick, this young bloke. You'd expect him to go back and give this uh, a very good chance. Looking for his second of the afternoon, Christian Petrarca. Highly skilled and exciting youngster. And that's the sort of stuff he can deliver. They're getting there now, the Ds. Oh, now Petrarca. Driving ball into the middle. Space to work in for Pedersen. Good fist from Harris Andrews. Back on the terms of the lines, only for a moment though. Mays was shut down once. Goes in to try and turn the tables. Got some help from Harris Andrews. Melsham's got away here. He can loop the handball for the good of Petrarca. And he goes long. We know he's a powerful kick. And a straight one! Some passion there from Petrarca! Been, been fantastic, Jerry Christian Petrarca. There's a stoppage over on the half forward flank there for the Brisbane Lions. You just see here, he wins this ball. Good tap there by Maxi Gorn. Now, that's a good 100, 120 yeah. metres away from where he received that ball. I like, good, I like this. Good signs, Jared. He's obviously working very hard. He followed up, continued on. He was able to get forward here. And we know how good he is within 55 metres of goal. Very powerful kick. It's a big confidence builder for him coming into September. That's one of the great passages of play from an individual. It was a smart tap on from Harms as well, but uh, when you work from back flank to forward flank and kick a 50-metre goal, that is a highlight and a clear warning sign of uh, the power of a few individuals. A pretty aggressive kick to Neil Bullen, who was spinning to get away from the approaching pies. Successfully, Harms tries to split them open and did. Got it through to Pedersen. One more give, Petrarca. Goal beckons. Got himself a line and punch straight through. That's better days. Callum screaming for it about 25 metres out from goal. In. He goes to Jeffy. Oh, but it's there Petrarca is. instead. There he is. <laughs> Tell you what, Jaden Hunt's lifted to this quarter. He's had nine disposals, along with this man, Petrarca, coming up for his seventh. 
He just understands the moment, Brown. I know we talk a lot about Petrarca, but he puts himself in positions where he can influence the scoreboard, and that's why he's such a boom, whether he's playing centre-half forward or on ball. And he is usually a very reliable kick in front of goal. Christian Petrarca. Oh, the D's are edging right back into this one now. Yeah, exactly right. You just see this man, Christian Petrarca. Now, let's just watch how long... He has the ball. The ball's about to be marked there, OK? Collingwood needs to be more aware of this. But like he says, Christian Petrarca lifts in these moments. Most younger players, they probably run away from the big moments. Petrarca puts himself right in the heat of the action every time these big moments come. And that's why he delivers. He looks like a man that's built for the big stage, oh, John. Yeah, he loves it. That's four in a row for the Ds.